I can think of. Um, I saw a pigeon flying to a man's face. And, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> really, <laughs> in a way, I can't describe it any funnier than you just visualising a pigeon flying to a man's face. It was so great. It was, it was just, you know, a station. You get birds flying and out, but you never think of you want to hit a man. It always feels like the law of nature. It can't quite happen. And, um, this guy was a tosser as well, exactly the kind of man you want to see hit by a bird. It was uh, so satisfying. He was on his mobile talking really, yeah, get me the, can you get me Tokyo? Can you get me Tokyo? Of course you can't, it's enormous. And, uh, also, <laughs> I, knew, I knew for a fact it was like 3 in the morning in Tokyo as well. Um, I'm not a genius, but I know my time zone. So this guy was a bullshit. And all this time he was talking in this showy way. This bird was hovering into view. And you can see, not just me, but about six of us had noticed. And you can see everyone glancing at each other. And you can say, this could be on. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> this is a potential collision course. Yeah. And even the man himself, clearly, he clocked the bird. You can see him look at the bird. And then he made eye contact like a rocky bird. And the guy looked at the bird. They didn't say, look, mate, one of us has to deviate from our course. Yeah. With all due respect, I work for Price Waterhouse Coopers. Uh, you're, uh, <laughs> you're more of a bird, really. So uh, there's only one winner. And of course, the bird that gives this out, I don't give a shit, mate, I'm a bird. And so, uh, so this is a reason I wouldn't be a pigeon. And so there was this tense, and even the last second you thought, it can't happen, he can't actually be hit by the bird. He was, he just kept on talking, the bird kept on flying, and whack, in his eye went the beach. And the guy took a step, staggered backwards, he dropped his phone, the battery just spilled out everywhere. Oh, it's definitely going to happen to me in my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but almost too happy, I couldn't resist shouting. It's only for me, you can't internalise your happiness. And quite loudly, I went, hit by the bird! <laughs> Yeah. When you shout that, something as specific as that, I can't pretend you would refer to an area that, oh no, I've just got to something else. It's really funny. It's quite coincidence if it's too blank. Hit by the bird. It's funny, one of the reasons I took against this was just the kind of this flashy looking mobile blackberry or some bollocks. And uh, I've got no time for all this shit. I've got a really basic phone. I don't, I've got a really mistrust of fancy phones. For example, this phone I had with all this bit of predictive texting and uh, all this predictive texting is bullshit. You know, I tried to send a message on could be late, stuck in a supermarket, fucking Q. Right? Okay, easy. How's it come? Stuck in a supermarket, fucking Steve. And it's only uh <laughs> <laughs> it's a very different message you sent out. Uh <laughs> <laughs> what else well? I uh I had this phone, um, and it, it had all these special features and functions. One time, I put it on, and there were no numbers in my phone book. They gone, vanished. I took it to the phone shop, and the guy said, Oh, yeah, he must have chosen to delete all numbers by accident. He said, Okay, fine, that clears that up. Um, <laughs> one thing, really. Why the fuck do I have a delete all numbers option in my phone? <laughs> what possible use could there be for this option to destroy all the information I've spent years hoarding up? When the fuck do you ever just delete all of my numbers and left all your friends and family dying in the same evening. Yeah. And you walk away and think, Jesus Christ, my life's in tatters. Everyone I know has been wiped off the face of the planet. Still, on the plus side, it's nice and easy to clear the thing apart now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Of course, one this is one this phone that's fucked up. Well, they never will mention phone. They always try and get you to buy a new one. But why not buy this one? This guy tried to sell me a phone. Four hundred pounds for a phone. This is like Samsung Golden Cock Four Thousand. <laughs> oh mate, this is a great phone. You can download MTV clips. And I, he said, are you not interested in watching TV on your phone? So we're not, not really. As you might be thinking, I've got a TV for that. You know, I, I'm not interested in watching TV on my phone. The same means I'm not interested in having a shit in my tumbler drive. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that reason is, I have specific equipment to do these different jobs. Why are you doing for me in the household, eh? That's uh, <laughs> that. Just the hassle. The amount of hassle. Just to get through your life. Oh, my God. I was in my bank. I've got a shit bank. Um, I'm not allowed to mention them now because I have some problems legally. But, uh, <laughs> we'll call it uh, Nat East. And then. <laughs>